Hello, today's story is Ruby and the Noisy Hippo by Helen Stevens. Are you ready? La la la, bang bang bang. What is that awful noise, said Ruby. It's me, shouted Hippo. Can I come to the sweet shop with you? Well, only if you promise to be very quiet, said Ruby, or people will stare. I promise, whispered Hippo, and he was very quiet for a little while. But by the time they reached the post box, Hippo was singing. La la la. Be quiet, said Ruby. You promised. By the time they reached the telephone box, Hippo was singing at the top of his voice. La la la. Uh-oh. By the time they reached the bus stop, Hippo was singing and stamping his feet. La la la, bang, bang, bang. That's it, said Ruby. You're too noisy. People are staring. You can't come to the sweet shop with me. Poor me, whispered Hippo. Then he had an idea. Hippo followed Ruby secretly. Look. He's hiding behind the tree, all the way to the sweet shop. One bag of strawberry fizz bombs, please, said Ruby. Then she went outside with her sweets. Looks like there's some lovely lollies here. Suddenly, a great big sweet eating crocodile jumped out at Ruby. Give me your strawberry fizz bombs, he shouted. Ruby was scared, too scared to move, too scared to make a sound. Bang, bang, bang. Hippo stomped out of the bushes. Leave my friend alone, he said. The crocodile ran home crying. Thank you, Hippo, said Ruby. Maybe it's okay to be noisy sometimes. Then Ruby and Hippo walked home together, singing and stamping their feet. La la la, bang, bang, bang. The end. <laughs>